Hello YouTube, it's been a while since I've made a new video, but um, the Minecraft 1.16 snapshots are kind of rolling out, and I wanted to to put some things on recording just to like, I don't know, have some fun with it. Um, this is a really cool system that I uh, created for 1.16. It uses some uh, new nether principles and stuff. They're not, well the principles aren't that new, but... Um, we do have a system here using the new zombie, um, the, not the zombie, the, the piglins. These are the new piglins that are present in the, the nether. Uh, I'm gonna change this to peaceful. For some reason, these are not considered, uh, hostile mobs, even though they technically are. Uh, but, um... These new piglins have the ability to barter. If you give them gold, they will give you various other um, random drops, basically. And this is a system that is a an interdimensional loot creating and uh, sorting system. So the um, this is a clock in the back that. Um, pulses these dispense this these droppers that give the the piglins um, gold they drop the items in the hoppers that they're standing on those are channeled over to this dispenser which then well dropper which then fires into this nether portal and the hoppers on the other side pick them up and then sort them so I think the best way to just kind of demonstrate this is just to demonstrate this. As you can see, they're kind of like looking at the gold and stuff. And maybe dropping items. It's like a committee. But as you can see, we got some drops popping through the portal. I'm going to hop to the other side. And you can kind of hear the dispenser of this auto-sorter system firing sometimes. Although for some reason it's not making noise occasionally, and I think that might be a bug. But um, basically it's firing all of these drops that we're getting in the portal. Um, actually, I haven't chunk-loaded the other side, so they're not coming through the portal right now, unless I'm on the other side. Um, but... You get the point. This is all of the drops that are possible with um, the the new piglin barter system. Um, they're listed from least rare to most rare as far as like drop frequency. And then this last chest is just a garbage chest, um, just in case anything else gets in the system. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much that. I might um, come back with the results of all of that. Um, I don't know if this is new, but beacons make a cool noise now. Um, and you can also make them out of netherite. That is new, I know. Um, and the amount of resources required to do this is absolutely insane. Um, to put that into perspective, netherite's insanely rare, gold is not. If we... And this is, this is the part that might break my freaking computer... If we were to kill enough zombie pigmen to drop the gold that we needed for the netherite beacon, we would need this entire area packed at maximum entity cramming limit, so 24 mobs per block. And, uh, I have some... I have some, uh... Some things here to uh, hopefully not break my computer. I do have this world backed up, so I'm gonna see how many entities, how many zombie pigmen I can generate before we start running into some significant issues. But yes, this is the entire area that would be necessary to get enough gold for the netherite beacon with zombie pigmen if you had a looting three sword. I don't even have a looting three sword. I just have this diamond sword in my inventory. But if you had a looting three sword, you would need this entire area completely filled to the brim 
with zombie pigmen. And yeah, this entire end area is necessary because if too many mobs are in one spot, then they start dying. They might start dying anyway because of the way that the game handles entities and things like that. But yeah, I have a repeating command block here that generates some zombie pigmen at its position. And uh, I'm going to see how many we can fit before I need to press the the emergency button, which is killing all of them. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. It's going to be like a fountain. Oh, wait. Oh, my. Um, oh, it's on. Yeah, it's on peaceful. Okay. I was just like, what the heck is that? Okay. Here we go. And you can see the entity counter in the top left. It says E, and it's rapidly increasing. It's only at about 500 zombie pigmen right now. And I've calculated that the total amount of zombie pigmen necessary would have to be 21,300. So... <laughs> oh my. Oh, we're getting some frame drops, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know if I should abort. We're getting some results here. Jeez. Yeah, we've reached about 121, 123rd of what is necessary to kill at this point. And I have a pretty beefy rig. So this is, this is something else. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting a whole 10 frames per second here. The game normally runs at 144. Uh, okay, it's like moving in molasses. I think I need to turn off the lever. Okay, we managed to get about 1,500 of them in a pit. Uh, I don't know what this is going to do for the recording. Uh, yikes. I think it's time to press the, the emergency release. Whew. And they're all gone. We have some chickens left over because of the Wow, only two. Only two chickens out of all of that spawning. There was only two chicken jockeys. Huh. Well, there you go. <laughs> ah, jeez. Oh. Pretty short video. Uh, haven't done much recently in the way of everything, but I hope you enjoyed it. And that'll be it.